Helen Keller. Helen Keller was an American author and actress. Helen has been blind and deaf since 1881. Helen Keller was born in Tuscumbia, Alabama on June 27, 1880. She had a father named Arthur H. Keller and a mother named Catherine Keller. Arthur spent many years as an editor and has been served as a captain for the Confederate Army. Helen was born with the ability to see and hear. At 19 months old, she suffered a fever. Three weeks later, Julian Chisholm told the Kellers that Helen is blind and deaf. Chisholm was a specialist to help the deaf people to communicate with their eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and throat. He referred the Kellers to Alexander Graham Bell, who was educating with deaf children at that time. Bill advised them to contact the Perkins Institute for the Blind, a school located in South Boston, Massachusetts. At that moment, the school's director, Michael Anagnos, asked a former student named Ann Sullivan to help Helen. So Ann traveled on a train to Alabama. Ann Sullivan finally arrived at Helen's house in March 1887 and began to work immediately. Anne taught Helen to communicate by spelling words using sign language. The first word that Anne taught Helen was doll. Anne would have to teach Helen to spell the word and then give Helen the doll, and Helen won't get anything until she spells it precisely correct. Unfortunately, when Anne tried to teach Helen to spell the words, Helen becomes frustrated and starts to throw and break stuff. When Anne taught Helen to spell the word water, she would grab Helen's hand to the water pump and pour water on Helen's palm. In May 1888, Helen attended the Perkins Institute for the Blind. In 1894, she and Anne moved to New York, where Helen attended the Wright Huma Sun School for the Deaf. In 1904, at age 24, Helen graduated at Radcliffe College. There, she was the first deaf person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. She then competed for women's suffrage. On June 22, 1916, Helen and Anne traveled to Menominee a small town in western Wisconsin to deliver a lecture at the Maple Tainter Memorial Building. In 1936, Anne died of a coma. Man started making audiobooks when the book's writing is narrated on radio. But in the late 30s, Nazis thought that the book, that audiobooks were evil, so Adolf Hitler forced all the Nazis to burn the books in a large fire in Berlin, Germany. In the 40s, Helen became an actress and was starred in the most famous movie like the ones in Hollywood. She also studied other languages including German, Latin, Italian, and Indian. She gave out her speeches in those countries. In 1961, at her home, she suffered strokes. In 1964, pre 36 President Lyndon Johnson awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. On June 1, 1968, Helen died in her sleep back at her home in Connecticut a few weeks short before her 88th birthday.